When we board an aircraft, our minds often race with thoughts of the destination, the excitement of travel, or perhaps a touch of anxiety about the flight itself. Rarely do we pause to consider the intricate web of human interaction and expertise that ensures our safe passage through the skies. This invisible force operating behind the cockpit door is known as Crew Resource Management, or CRM. It's a system designed not just for pilots, but for everyone involved in the complex dance of flight. From the ground crews prepping the aircraft to the air traffic controllers guiding its path, effective communication and coordinated action are paramount. CRM is the oil that lubricates this complex machinery, ensuring that every cog in the system moves in harmony. In the high-stakes world of aviation, even small errors can have catastrophic consequences. The history of flight is punctuated by incidents where breakdowns in communication, lapses in judgment or a lack of situational awareness have led to tragedy. CRM emerged as a direct response to these incidents, a recognition that human error, often exacerbated by systemic factors, was a leading cause of accidents. The Tenerife Airport disaster of 1977, where two Boeing 747S collided on a foggy runway, stands as a stark reminder of what can happen when communication fails. This tragedy, along with others, served as a wake-up call for the aviation industry, leading to the development and widespread adoption of CRM principles. Crew resource management is often mistakenly perceived as merely a fancy term for communication in the cockpit. While clear and concise communication is undoubtedly a cornerstone of CRM, it represents just one facet of this multifaceted approach to aviation safety. CRM extends far beyond the exchange of words, encompassing a deep understanding of human behavior decision-making processes and the dynamics of teamwork. At its core, CRM seeks to optimize the utilization of all available resources within the aviation system. This includes not just the technical aspects of the aircraft itself, but also the cognitive abilities, experience and judgment of the human beings who operate it. Imagine a basketball team where each player operates independently oblivious to the actions and intentions of their teammates. Just as in a successful sports team, effective teamwork in aviation relies on shared goals, mutual support, and a clear understanding of roles and responsibilities. CRM promotes a collaborative approach to flight operations, breaking down hierarchical barriers and encouraging active participation from all crew members. When crew members trust each other's judgment, feel comfortable sharing information, and are willing to provide and accept constructive criticism, the entire team becomes greater than the sum of its parts. This synergy enhances situational awareness, improves decision-making, and creates a resilient safety culture where potential hazards are identified and mitigated proactively. CRM is not merely a set of procedures or checklists to be memorized and followed robotically. It's a philosophy, a mindset, a way of thinking and operating that permeates every aspect of aviation operations. It's about cultivating a safety culture where vigilance is constant, complacency is the enemy, and learning from both successes and mistakes is paramount. In a strong safety culture, open communication flows freely in all directions, from management to frontline employees and vice versa. Concerns are addressed promptly and effectively, and there's a shared commitment to continuous improvement. This requires strong leadership, effective training programs, and a willingness to embrace change when necessary. By shifting the focus from blaming individuals to understanding the systemic factors that contribute to errors, CRM has helped create a more forgiving and learning-oriented industry. The genesis of crew resource management can be traced back to a series of tragic aviation accidents in the 1970s, culminating in the infamous Tenerife Airport disaster of 1977. This catastrophic event involved a collision between two Boeing 747S, claiming 583 lives. The investigation revealed a chilling narrative of miscommunication and errors. The disaster exposed the limitations of a traditional cockpit hierarchy. The first officer's concerns were misunderstood or dismissed. External pressures created a perfect storm for disaster. Tenerife forced a paradigm shift in aviation safety.
Prior to CRM, the prevailing culture in many cockpits was one of strict hierarchy and deference to authority. The captain was seen as the ultimate decision maker, his word carrying unquestionable weight. While this structure had its merits in maintaining order and discipline, it also created an environment where other crew members might hesitate to speak up, even if they observed something amiss. CRM challenged this paradigm, advocating for a more collaborative and egalitarian approach to cockpit management. It recognised that every crew member, regardless of rank or experience, possessed valuable insights and perspectives that could contribute to safety. Open communication, active listening and mutual respect became the cornerstones of this new approach. The shift from a culture of authority to one of collaboration was not without its challenges. The early iterations of CRM focused primarily on improving communication and teamwork within the cockpit. However, as the understanding of human factors in aviation matured, so too did the scope of CRM. It evolved to encompass a broader range of issues, including situational awareness, decision-making, stress management, and automation management. CRM training programs today incorporate sophisticated simulations, role-playing exercises, and case studies to reinforce these principles. Airlines and regulatory bodies worldwide have recognised the value of CRM, making it a mandatory component of pilot and crew training. This comprehensive approach ensures that crew members are well equipped to handle the complexities of modern aviation. By addressing the human element, CRM has significantly enhanced the safety and efficiency of flight operations. Imagine a symphony orchestra where each musician plays their instrument in isolation, oblivious to the conductor's cues and the melodies produced by their fellow performers. Similarly, in the complex and dynamic environment of an aircraft cockpit, effective communication serves as the conductor's baton, orchestrating the actions of the crew and ensuring a harmonious and safe flight. Communication in CRM extends far beyond simply conveying information. It's about fostering an environment of open dialogue where crew members feel empowered to share observations, express concerns and challenge decisions without fear of reprisal. Clear and concise communication is crucial in mitigating errors, especially during critical phases of flight. A mispronounced altitude, an ambiguous instruction or a missed radio call can have serious consequences. CRM emphasizes the use of standardized terminology, readback procedures, and assertive communication techniques to minimize the risk of misunderstandings. In aviation, situational awareness refers to a pilot or crew's perception and understanding of the current state of the aircraft and its surrounding environment. It's about knowing where you are, where you're going, and what's happening around you at all times. CRM recognizes that situational awareness is not a solo endeavor, but a collective responsibility. Each crew member possesses unique perspectives and information that contribute to the overall picture. Effective CRM encourages continuous information sharing and cross-checking among crew members to build a shared mental model of the situation. This shared understanding allows the crew to anticipate potential threats, coordinate actions effectively, and make informed decisions even when faced with unexpected events. Every flight is a journey through a constantly changing environment. Weather patterns shift, air traffic controllers issue new instructions, and aircraft systems occasionally throw in unexpected surprises. In this dynamic realm, pilots and crews are constantly faced with decisions, ranging from routine course adjustments to critical choices that could mean the difference between a safe landing and a catastrophic incident. CRM acknowledges that decision-making in aviation is rarely a solitary pursuit. It emphasizes a collaborative approach, leveraging the collective experience and expertise of the entire crew. Effective CRM decision-making involves clearly defining the problem, gathering all available information, generating and evaluating alternative solutions, and considering the potential consequences of each option. In the symphony of flight, teamwork and leadership are the conductor and the score, guiding the individual talents of each crew member towards a harmonious performance. 
CRM fosters a culture where every member of the flight crew, from the pilots to the flight attendants, understands their role in the grand orchestra of aviation safety. Teamwork in CRM thrives on mutual respect, open communication and a shared commitment to safety. It's about recognizing that each individual brings unique skills and perspectives to the table and that the most effective solutions often emerge from collaborative efforts. Leadership in CRM is not about dictating orders from a position of authority. It's about inspiring trust, fostering open communication and empowering crew members to contribute their best. Effective leaders in aviation create a climate where errors are viewed as learning opportunities, not grounds for blame. While the principles of CRM might seem intuitive on the surface, translating them into effective action in the high-pressure environment of a cockpit requires specialised training. CRM training isn't just about memorising procedures or ticking boxes on a checklist. It's about instilling a mindset, a way of thinking and interacting that becomes second nature to every crew member. The journey begins in the classroom, where pilots and crew members delve into the theoretical underpinnings of CRM. They explore the psychology of teamwork, the dynamics of communication and the impact of stress and fatigue on decision making. Case studies of past aviation incidents, both successful and tragic, serve as powerful learning tools illustrating the real-world consequences of CRM principles in action. To bridge the gap between theory and practice, training programs incorporate interactive exercises, group discussions and role-playing scenarios. The heart of CRM training lies in the realm of high-fidelity flight simulators. These technological marvels replicate the sights, sounds and sensations of flight with astonishing realism, allowing crews to experience the challenges and complexities of aviation without ever leaving the ground. From routine takeoffs and landings to system malfunctions and in-flight emergencies, Simulators provide a safe and controlled environment to practice CRM skills in a dynamic and unpredictable setting. Inside the simulator, crews face a barrage of challenges designed to test their metal and hone their CRM reflexes. Engine failures, instrument malfunctions and adverse weather conditions are just a few of the curveballs thrown their way. The pressure is palpable as they work together to diagnose problems, communicate effectively and execute procedures with precision. The debriefing sessions that follow each simulation are equally crucial, providing an opportunity for reflection, feedback and continuous improvement. Section 3. Cultivating a CRM Mindset CRM training is an ongoing process throughout a crew member's career. Regular training keeps CRM principles ready for deployment. True CRM mastery is a mindset that permeates flight operations. Complacency can be as dangerous as mechanical failure. Effective CRM requires vigilance, speaking up and learning from experiences. It's about fostering open communication and minimizing hierarchy. A strong CRM culture enhances safety and efficiency. Effective CRM leads to smoother flights and better passenger comfort. CRM optimizes human performance for the best outcomes. Section 1. The numbers speak volumes. Uh, Crew resource management has dramatically improved aviation safety. Since the 1980s, accidents due to human error have declined. This highlights the power of human factors training. CRM emphasizes teamwork, communication and shared responsibility. Airlines investing in CRM reap the rewards of safer operations. Section 2. Beyond statistics, a culture of safety. While the statistical evidence speaks volumes about the impact of CRM, its true influence extends far beyond the realm of numbers. CRM has fundamentally reshaped the culture of aviation, fostering an environment where safety is not just a priority but an ingrained value that permeates every level of the industry. In the past, aviation safety often relied on a culture of blame where individuals were held solely accountable for errors, even if systemic factors played a role. CRM has shifted this paradigm, promoting a more just and learning-oriented approach. Mistakes are viewed as opportunities for growth and improvement, not reasons for punishment. This culture of open communication and continuous improvement has created a more resilient and adaptable aviation system. Crews are empowered to speak up without fear of reprisal, sharing concerns and observations that could potentially avert an incident.
Lessons learned from past events, both big and small, are disseminated throughout the industry, ensuring that mistakes are not repeated. Section 1. CRM, the legacy of safer skies. Crew resource management has revolutionized aviation safety. From its tragic origins to a sophisticated system, CRM harnesses collective intelligence. It transforms vulnerabilities into strengths through teamwork and communication. CRM's legacy is seen in reduced accidents and a culture of shared responsibility. As skies grow crowded, CRM principles ensure safety remains paramount. Next time you fly, appreciate the invisible force of CRM at work.